Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly reading for March 5th through the 11th. Generally my readings are love readings, but you never know these days, so we will see whatever comes up. I'm going to get one of these oracle cards and then we're going to, well, uh, just one. <laughs> It's going to be this one right here because it turned sideways in my hand. Just because I feel like that's the one. And then we're going to break right into the reading. Ooh, strategy. Coming up with a strategy. That sounds about right, doesn't it, Virgo? Yes, it does. Absolutely. Absolutely. When things fall apart, what do you do? You come up with a strategy. Those cards just fell apart in my hand. When things fall apart, you come up with a strategy. And that is what is going on here. Some, perhaps there's a door that's closing. All right. A change is needed. And it's time for you to make the change. You have to make the change. You've been resisting. Resisting. Tied to the past. Tied to some place, something you don't want to be tied to. And it's a time of freedom. I just want to be free. I need to be free from this. It's not what I'm looking for. It's not. Whatever's going on here isn't make. I don't feel equal in this situation. I don't feel like this is brings me justice. There's lack of integrity here. I need to release this heaviness. This is way too heavy for me to carry around. I can't carry it anymore. My wish is to someplace else. Okay, I, I don't desire this. I, I, my wish is, is totally something else. This is not it. I can't invest another minute. I can't. I don't have any more energy to invest in this. I just don't. I'm not there. I don't care if it grows. I don't want to grow it. It's not bringing me anything. I don't, I don't feel good about it. I don't, it's not, I don't receive from this situation. I'm not receiving anything from the situation that I'm in. There's no success here. None. I don't feel respected. I'm, I don't feel like I'm being listened to. I can't, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want it. It doesn't lead to my wish fulfillment. I'm wishing for a whole lot more than this. And I think it's about time for me to take some action here. I got, I have to make some changes in my life. So I'm going to, I think I'm, I'm going to actually take a step. Because it's, it's time for me to focus on my future and not my past. Because I'm robbing myself. I've been robbed of all this time already. Okay. I can't, I'm not going to fight for this anymore. I'm not going to fight for something. I don't want to be involved in this unnecessary drama. Or this un these unnecessary circumstances. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm ready to go. It feels as though... I don't even want to be criticized. Don't criticize me. I'm done. I don't want you to... If, if you... No. I'm not going to let you attack me or criticize me or even tell me anything. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. You're going to take action. It's time. I'm going to take action. It could happen instantly. Because you're looking for happiness. You're looking to have fun. I'm ready to go have some fun. Damn it. This is no fun and I'm ready. I'm ready to go have some fun. I'm ready to celebrate. I want, I'm looking for happiness here. I'm looking to receive. And, I, you know, I might have to, to cut this tension. You know, I'm going to have to cut this tension out of my life. I'm going to, maybe I, you have to sever some ties. Maybe we're just going to have to go our separate ways. 
because there's been a whole lot of lies here anyway. There's This has all been a lie. And it's time for me to remove this obstacle, this ep emptiness that I've been feeling. I can't do it anymore. You know, and I feel like I'm going to be alone anyway. Nobody's on my side. I'm, I'm all by myself here anyway. Okay? It feels as though... Um, It's time for me to accept this truth that it's better to be alone than to be unhappy. It's better to do this by myself than than to be criticized and um, looked down upon. It's time for me to accept this truth and to use this sword to sever the ties with whatever. This could be a job. This could be a whatever. You figure it out. could be love. Just, I need to use this sword to speak my truth and show you the power that I have to remove myself from this situation that does not fulfill my wishes because it's it doesn't make me happy. I'm, this is unnecessary drama. You don't respect me. You don't listen to me. You know, I'm, you just, it's been a big letdown. And now I have to take action and really focus on my future. It's really time for me to refocus and to find the courage within me to take action. And as you do that, it brings stability and security to your life. It appears that there is some sort of abundance that you are going to receive from your focus. Okay, because he's the king of focus. There could be a new job on the horizon. There could be an increase in pay. There could be a new opportunity that you had been not considering in the past. And this doesn't have to be a job. It could be a love relationship. It feels as though you're starting to concentrate on the future, not looking back. I want more. I am looking for something more stable and secure and something that makes me feel good and, and is very exciting and fun. I'm looking for change because I love myself unconditionally and it's time for my rebirth. It's time for my new growth to happen. So I think you're gonna drop something. You're gonna drop something out of your life, you're going to sever some ties. And after you do that, you're going to feel very happy and you're going to feel stable and secure. You're going to feel a relief. And it's all because you followed your own intuition. You followed your own path. You followed your heart. And removed some anguish. Because... The thing, the thing is, is whatever it is that you're severing in the past, whatever this is that you've been tied to, there was no growth. And you've come to the conclusion that it's time to free yourself from this situation that has, that you have been pondering, that you have been trying to figure out. It's time to free yourself from this depressive state of mind that hasn't brought you growth. It's time for me to be happy again and to have growth. So I have to take action and I feel like you're going to take action quickly and it's going to be very liberating and it's going to be very, it's going to lead to security and stability in the long run. Inner security and stability and perhaps even some new love for you because you've reached this point of beauty where you're, you love yourself enough to allow true love to come in. When you can take action in regards to your true heart's desires, even if it hurts, you have this wisdom within you that is, it's, what was it, wisdom or it's enlightenment, it's, it's confidence, it's courage, it's a bunch of things all in one. You have all these abilities that draw people into your high vibration. And I feel like as you step into your renewal, your vibration raises because she's vibrating at a very high level and, and you pull in some, some sort of new emotional support, emotional something, love. 
could be a love of a job or could be love of a person. When you make the right move and let go of this unnecessary bullshit that's been holding you back, that's been really hurting you and causing you sleepless nights and making you frustrated, when you really let go and you, you do the right thing and you accept the truth and you use your power to sever the ties with whatever this is, and, and have faith that something much better is coming, it will come. That's what I'm trying to say you, say, tell you. It's going to come. But you have this fear that it won't come. It's going to come. Because that's what the reality is. That's the truth of this situation. When you let go and feel that point of personal freedom your vibration is going to raise to a very high level. And as your vibration raises, the, your dream come true, your wish is going to come in. That's what's going to happen. But you have to, you have to be honest, you have to do the right thing, and you have to use your own power. Strength, of course. Oh my God. Strength, courage. Confidence, willpower, the ability to master your emotions and use the strength to use the sword to do what you got to do. And when you do what you got to do, whether this is at work or at home, relationship, or whatever, you will be rewarded with a new partnership. Whether it's at work or a new contract or, it's, or, or a love, okay? There is going to be a new union, period, after you do the right thing. The, the right thing aligns with your soul's desires. So when you truly follow your soul's desires, you will receive love, a union that makes you very happy. It makes you feel like celebrating. But during this time, you have to be your own advocate. You have to be your own advocate. That's the ultimate strength. When you can stand up for yourself and have faith that everything is going to work out as it should. I'm going to follow myself. I'm going to follow my heart and believe that this is going to work out as it should. And now you are coming up with a strategy to use that power, to use your voice, to communicate, to stand up for yourself, and to follow your soul's wishes, dreams, and desires. You will be rewarded with a positive Union. Should you be honest and do the right thing. And that's what I have, Virgo. Sorry I didn't zoom it in. I'm a slacker. Not. Nah.